This tutorial video will look at a Dell UFI bias on a Dell business system, such as a Latitude or an Optiplex or a Precision. I'm going to look at the UFI bias settings before the system is updated to the latest version. And then I'm going to instruct on updating to the latest version. And then I'm going to look at the UEFI bias settings again and optimize them for a Windows 10 64-bit installation. The capabilities of your system bias depend on the age of your hardware. If you have a system older than 2010, you likely have a legacy bias. And if you have a system released in about 2011, you likely have an early UFI bias. And if you have a system released in 2012 or later, then you likely have a late UFI bias. The legacy bias has no UFI support or UFI associated technologies. The early UFI bias has UFI support but it doesn't support secure boot and hence has no advanced boot options. In general for the Latitude E-Series, systems ending in 00 will have a legacy bias. Systems ending in 10 will have an early UFI bias and systems ending in 20 or later, i.e. 30, 40, 50, will have a late UFI bias, providing that the UFI bias has been updated to the latest revision. For Optiplex systems, models ending in 8.0 or earlier will have a legacy bias. Models ending in 9.0 will have an early UFI bias, and models ending in 0.1.0 or later, i.e. 0.2.0, 0.3.0, 040 will have a late UFI bias providing the latest bias revision is installed. So let's power up a Dell Optiplex 7010 and we're going to press F2 to enter the UFI bias setup. Now if we go to boot sequence we can see that we have UFI options. So this is a UFI bias. But scrolling through the settings, we do not see secure boot. This is because this system bias is not up to date. So I will just select exit and now just wait for Windows 7 to load. And once I'm on the Windows 7 desktop, I'm going to press Windows and R to bring up the run command and I'm going to type in msinfo32 without any spaces to bring up the system information. So on this page I can see that the system manufacturer is Dell, system model is an Optiplex 7010, the bias version slash date is A05, and the SM bias version is 2.7. So I'm going to compare A05 with what is available on downloads.dell.com. So let's open up Internet Explorer and go to downloads.dell.com now. And I want to select desktops and all-in-ones and then I want to select Optiplex desktops and then I want to select the Optiplex 7010 and I prefer downloads.dell.com in order to download bias updates because sometimes the latest version requires a prerequisite version in order to install properly. So we can see we've got this A05 version 
and we can now see that the latest version is A21. So let's just save this and we'll save it to the desktop. And now we'll just close down Internet Explorer and we'll make sure all of our programs are closed. So what I'm going to do now is right click the BIOS update and select run as administrator and then I'm going to select yes. And then I'm going to select OK to begin the UEFI BIOS update. And it checks whether the system is compatible. And it is, so I can just select OK again. And you'll note that it says there's secure boot support in this latest UEFI BIOS revision. So that's good. Let's press OK. And it will prepare to update. And now the computer will restart and the UEFI BIOS will finish updating. So now it should boot back into Windows 7. And I can press Windows and R again and bring up MS Info 32 again and just check the bias version slash date to see whether the bias has indeed been updated. And there we go, we've got the latest bias version, A21. So all the other values are the same as before. So I'm happy that the UEFI bias has now been updated. So now I'm just going to go to start and shut down the system. And now I'm going to power up the system and I'm going to press F2 to enter the UEFI bias. So now I'm going to optimize the settings for a Windows 10 installation. So if I just go to the boot sequence, I'm going to change the boot list option from legacy to UEFI. And you'll note that I have underneath boot sequence, a new tab called advanced boot options. And you'll see that enable legacy option ROMs is checked. I'm going to uncheck this because Windows 10 does not need legacy ROM options. Next, I'm just going to expand system configuration. And I'm going to just look at the SATA operation and check that it is AHCI. So I'll leave it at this setting because I've only got one hybrid solid state drive installed in the system. And now I'm going to scroll down and you'll see that I have this new tab called Secure Boot. And if I go down, we'll see that Secure Boot is disabled. And I'm just going to change this from Disabled to Enabled. And now I'm going to apply the settings. Secure Boot will stop unauthorized code from booting. This will reduce the susceptibility of your system to pre-boot malware. I'm now ready for Windows 10 clean installation.